happy day to my dear students and viewers so uh, this is nagarajan working as an assistant professor in the department of electrical and electronics engineering working in mm school of engineering and created by nac approved by act new delhi affiliated to anai university chennai so uh, today we are going to discuss about um, a very important topic that is right leg driven ecg amplifier we read something about this ecg in unit 2 okay in that unit we read about this uh, ecg signal uh, generation that is action potential of the heart okay how the how the signal is propagated and uh, how the signal is measured and what are the different types of measuring methods and how the measured signals are manipulated and how the signals are analyzed okay everything we did we see we have gone through the in unit 2 okay now we are going to discuss about this right leg driven ecg amplifier why it is right leg driven ecg amplifier okay so even though there are different methods there should be some reference electrode there should be some reference electrode so that reference electrode if it is related to the measuring system okay if it is related to the measuring system then the output is reasonable and the output is also acceptable but in some cases okay especially when the readings are taken the reference electrode might be placed in some other locations okay might be placed in some other location yes that is 100% not related to the patient okay usually this uh, reference electrode will be connected to the measuring system itself okay <coughs> excuse me measuring system itself so if that type of grounding is taken then the readings will not be proper okay the reading will not be proper one reason is even though there is a noise that a noise might be actuated or that signal okay may not be reflected in the measuring or display system okay even in some conditions that may be eliminated as noise okay so we should not take risk in that type of readings what you have to do is we have to take that portion also into consideration then how to take that portion okay that portion here in the sense our uh, very low frequencies and amplitudes okay so how it can, how it can be considered very simple take the reference electrode and place it in our body that's all okay instead of placing in some other locations that is entirely different from the patient entirely far away from the patient then you if you place the reference electrode near the patient or in the patient then there is an, uh, no chance of neglecting any waveform or any uh, outputs okay so we can take a, even a very low amplitude and very low frequency into consideration for the analysis purpose so that is why right leg driven ecg amplifier system is introduced okay so in uh, much uh, ecg system the patient is not grounded for instant time okay instead of that right leg ecg is connected at the output amplifier 
since that is what I said, patient is not connected to the ground. Okay. Therefore, right leg driven leg circuit. Okay. The driven right leg circuit or DRL circuit is an electric circuit that is often added to the biological signal amplifiers to reduce the common mode interference. Okay. So it is very important uh, that noise should be reduced. Okay. Then biosignal amplifiers uh, such as CCG, EEG or EMG. You, you circuits measures very small electrical signals of the body often as such uh, several micro volt okay unfortunately the patient body can act as an antenna which picks up <coughs> electromagnetic <coughs> interference okay electromagnetic interference Okay, so that should be eliminated. So how it can be eliminated coming to this? If you look at this uh, diagram, can you understand this diagram, circuit diagram? It is very simple. It is an uh, instrumentation amplifier. Okay, it is an instrumentation amplifier where the output is connected to the right leg. Okay, where the output is connected to the right leg. Okay, output of operational amplifier 3. Okay, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. This third operational amplifier output is connected to the right leg. So that is why it is named as an right leg driven amplifier. Okay. Now, now the parallel resistance R1 and R0. Okay which is this uh, R1 and R0 between the patient and ground okay between the patient and ground so there are several mega ohms in the value large enough to limit the current okay as I said earlier if there is a very high resistance the current flow through that resistance is under control okay it is very low or minimum okay so if this is uh, the case then we can pick the signals okay we can pick the signals at both arm okay right arm and left arm and that is given to the input of two amplifiers okay one and two op amp one and two of instrumentation amplifier and the output is connected to the auxiliary amplifier where the output can be taken okay now again uh, study of this uh, characteristics can be done from taking this output by taking the output from this uh, biased resistor from this biased resistor okay so uh, here the current ID is flowing through the body and that current is evenly discharged through this uh, operational amplifier. Okay, they, that is the whole circuit is closed. Okay, using biopotentials. The whole circuit is closed using biopotentials. Suppose if this is connected to the EB line, then the power line interference occurs definitely and that output that will uh, change the performance of this uh, instrumentation amplifier system therefore the output may get deteriorated or some improper values might be reflected okay. so next we are going to look at the equivalent circuit this is the equivalent circuit of the uh, right leg driven uh, amplifier so final output of being since our body is acting as a source this is the source and uh, uh, the, there are two inputs and the output this is the final output that is taken at the v naught okay so i hope for this uh, you might have understand the class and uh, we will close this session and uh, in the next class we, will, we are going to discuss about this power line interference Okay.
सो थैंक यू